to today's new and exciting five-minute video interview. I'm your moderator, Hadi Jubadabaklis. I'm an Innovation Project Manager at Greenberg Targ, and I'm very pleased to be joined today by our speaker, Jack Corsento, who's a Senior Applications Div Director at Better Price PC. Welcome, Jack. Thank you very much, Harriet. I appreciate you having me. So to get us started, tell us what is workflow automation and what are some of the biggest misconceptions about it? So workflow automation, I like to think of it personally as um, having a personal assistant who will run around and do whatever you really want them to do. If you really develop a good workflow that, that properly goes out to everyone, what it absolutely does is it will send out emails to everyone who's involved at that particular state in the workflow, send them reminders if they're not taking action, and then kind of supervise their entire process to make sure that not only do they get what they need done, but it follows the entire workflow process and nothing gets out of sync. So it's like great for keeping time and also executing any kind of uh, different tasks that you have. Great. So what are some common pitfalls for teams that are attempting to automate their processes? So I think some of the common pitfalls and probably the biggest one is just a failure to accurately plan. One of the biggest things that you have to do is make sure that you involve everybody who's going to be in the workflow in the actual planning of the workflow. There's so many gotchas that can happen. There's so many things when you're doing a manual process that people forget to mention. You know, it's it's just kind of like maybe, maybe, uh, Maybe at this point you would file this into this folder and everything, or based on something else, you would file it into a different folder. Well, everyone else outside might be thinking, oh, they just don't in this folder and that's the end of it. Well, if you don't talk to that person and they're not involved in the process, they can't have these little thoughts and say, oh, you know what, actually we also do this if this happens. And so uh, having a good plan in place and making sure that you execute it with everyone involved is probably key. Uh, the second thing I would say is, um, and this is one of my favorite, it's death by a thousand cuts. Once you start getting things going and you realize how great it's going, then you start maybe incorporating additional things. Well, we can also make it do this and this and this. No, have a straight goal and just stick to that goal and say, hey, we can always go with a version two or develop some sort of second workflow to move forward from there. Um, don't get into the whole process of just keeping on throwing things on top of it because you'll have this runaway monster that you never get out. Uh, and then the third part is to have an evangelist. Clearly, if you're building a workflow, that means more than one person is, is using it. And uh, you want to make sure that you have an, a champion who will sit there and speak about the wonders and the benefits of it so that you get better user rate adoption. So having somebody who believes in it, that everyone else believes in, that can be out there and really speak to the, the, the great uh, developments that you guys have made with this workflow is really key to actually getting people to use it. Yeah, it's great to be on the lookout for all of those. Um, okay, so for someone who is newly looking to use workflows, what would you recommend as their general course of action? So here's, uh, here's one of the big challenges now. I mean, uh, probably 10 years ago, there were very few platforms that you could actually work on to get workflows going. So your, your choices were very limited. Uh, now, it seems like uh, a lot of different software platforms have workflow processes built into them directly. So I think that one of the first things that everyone should do is turn and look at all of their major platform applications, such as their uh, accounting systems, such as their marketing systems, uh, such as uh, even uh, their operating systems. Uh, a lot of this stuff is already built into to the processes and has some sort of rudimentary form building, uh, workflow design, and then uh, integrations with other applications and stuff like that. So it's, it's really important to look at what you got and decide whether or not that will fit you know, fulfill your needs or uh, whether you need something additional to really, uh, to really give you a robust system that you can actually segregate from all your other systems and make it its own application if you're planning on, on doing a huge workflow endeavor in your, in your uh, particular uh, department or organization. I think the next big thing that, that you have to really consider with that is once again, you know, um, selling it to your senior leadership team or your, your management team. Um, in some ways, a lot of them are like, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, uh, 
we've got all these people doing all this manual stuff. It's great. So uh, in those particular cases, you know, uh, generally visualization is what really helps sell those things. So um, set up some graphs, show how people are working currently with, uh, you know, the processes, break it out into a timeline, and then get an estimation of after it's put into a workflow, what kind of time you're saving there. You're no longer chasing people for emails. You're no longer forgetting to send emails. You're no longer forgetting to do a process. Uh, you don't have to chase somebody down. You have an automated system that continues to do that. Uh, all of these things can actually really open up the eyes of management and let them say, this is, this is something we can truly invest in because at the end of the day, it's going to really uh, benefit benefit us from a time perspective. Excellent. Those are excellent points to keep in mind. So thank you to the audience for tuning in and to Jack for your time. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>